Well guys, here we are at Lake Prosser Pond or Peter Faust Dam. Oh, I've just grabbed the opportunity while it stopped absolutely pissing down to just do a quick intro. Um, this is a trip that I've been dreaming of doing for probably 20 years or more. Um, way back when I first started hearing about when they started stocking these big impairments with these with these barra and just the size and stuff they were growing to. I've been wanting to get up here. In those dreams, I had dreams of lily pads and weed edges and sight casting barra, nice sunny days, maybe even a glass out. And this is the bleak sort of rubbish weather that we've got instead. So anyway, I probably wouldn't fish in this weather um, if I was back home, but I'm here. I've done thousands of kilometers to get here, so I'm gonna make the most of it. This is actually my third session out here. I was out yesterday. No, yesterday I had a break because the weather was really bad. Probably not as bad as today, to be honest, but there is a rainbow over in the background there, so hopefully the weather is turning. Um, so I had a bit of a rest, went down to Ely Beach and had a bit of a look around down there instead. Um, but yeah, back out here today. Um, day before that, I had um, the boys out with me. Uh, we got a nice fish, and when I first arrived here, I came out just for a bit of a look around one morning and and got a nice fish in the low 90s as well so first pross upon so far i've had some pretty good success here which is unreal um i'm not going to talk too much about how i'm doing what i'm doing because honestly i'm making it up as i go along i've watched heaps of other youtube clips um you know jump on the socials and reading articles and whatever else i could get my hands on before I got up here and now I'm just using some of that stuff and um, I've been using some jerk baits and uh, it's really good fun. I know that the guys are also getting them sort of deep jigging with vibes and stuff like that but I don't know, it sort of doesn't interest me as much. Um, I do that a bit at home chasing yellows as well so um, if I'm up here today I want to try and get them up shallow and and see how we go. We're in some really timbered country so we might just get in and have a fish while the weather's looking good. Wait for that bite time to start. You will get one. Nearly at the bite time. Yep. Hopefully at the bite time, I'll just go. Yep, we're going to eat now. I'll just go. Block under the bridge. That would be insane. Yep, 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 yep. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, holy moly. He's big, he's big. Bounce us off the trees there, mate. He's on this stick here. I don't know which way he went. Oh, he's up there. He's over the other side there. Yep, he's out there, he's out there. Just like that. <laughs> Oh, look at him go! <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get him up. Oh, Holy I thought he fell off then for a second. Bigger than the other one? Gonna go crazy here. Be another 90 probably. Alright. Like <laughs> like I like it, I like it a lot. Look, ready to watch him go under the boat are you ready? There he goes. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and get him out from under this boat. Oh, there he goes. Oh, they got some go, haven't they? <sighs> Come on, Bazaar. Oh my god, that's only a smaller one. <laughs> you wanna beat this then, Dil? I'm just about just about ready for a net shot, I think. Yeah. Oh, 
Wait, oh, he's just pinned. Get that, get that, get that. Got him. Yeah. Oh, he's big. <laughs> 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 yeah. That, is, that does not look like a cod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, dude? That's huge. Right, uh, right, uh, that is a yep. fish. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't even eat it. You literally. Oh, he's just pinned by that one treble eye. There's, and there's still some down there. Look at that one on the bottom. Yep. Whoa, that's cool ones. That's the inside of his. Whoa. Gob. His eyes are orange. Yeah, they've got reflective eyeballs. Yeah. That's cool. Right, think about them, mate. We'll get this done quick, smart. I'm just gonna bring another drink for a minute. <laughs> Here we go. Second barrier in the beer. Got ourselves a barrier. This RV would just just start on that bite time, so I reckon we're in my view a chance of one or two more. There's a heap of fish sitting along these timber ears, so this is pretty cool. This is an amazing, amazing place. Proserpine, Lake Proserpine, man. 3,000 kilometres to get up here. Loads to drive though. That's a number two. Number two for the trip. How was that, pal? Is that good for you? It's pretty good for me. Oh, we're onto another nice fish. Just roll it up on the top there. Probably can't see a damn thing. Sorry about the raindrop. Oh, he's running again. Got him in nice open water anyway. Another 90s model by the look of it. Shot. How good's the weather for it? Oh, 
I don't know. They tell me the cold weather shuts them down. I don't suppose it's that cold, really. Still in the mid 20s, mid to high 20s, I suppose, but wind and rain and. Oh. You probably can't even see me. <laughs> These things are unreal. I'm surprised they're still biting. I still haven't got that meter yet, but how good's that? Look at the head on the thing. They're getting bigger. That one's into the mid 90s, so we'll keep working. We'll find a meter a year, I reckon. That's insane. It was right under the boat. Oh, that is crazy. He was right under the boat. I was just twitching, 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 watched it. I just watched him on the screen just roll over on it. Oh, no fight out of him either. Oh, he's going to go crazy when he hits this net. He's going to be close to a meter, that fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, these fish. Oh, let me just wipe this screen off. That fish is just dead set. Gifted to me, that one. The lure come across and I was jerking and I seen this fish come up behind it and he sort of swooped and must have half sort of wanted to eat it. Got it all the way to the boat and he was following me all the way to the boat. He got about four or five metres away, he sort of just drifted away. I come back through again with another cast and right under the boat and it's just paused there and I've just seen the line go, just move. Leoned in and he's on. The big old bugger didn't even fight. He just rolled straight over. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. Still chewing though, which is unreal. You're gonna go close to the meter mark this one, I reckon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good fish. Yeah, real good fish. He's just great as he's hit the jack, that fella. Alright, we might have it. We might have the metery. Yeah, mate, I know, I know. We'll get you back quick as. Oh, he could. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We done it. Yes. Look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that. It's a meter five. Prossy bar. Time to go back. Thanks, mate. You've made me bloody trip. Yeah, good to that. A little bit of sunshine coming out for the first time on the trip, too. Oh, how you feeling, pal? You alright? Oh, yeah, he's starting to bite down. 
You're all good, bud. Good to go. Off he goes. I came up here hoping for a metery. Not hoping, I was. Yeah, hoping, I suppose you call it. Funny sort of capture. I watched the whole thing happening and just seen that slight little plaque wound in. It's just weight. And then he really didn't fight all that hard at all. Maybe it's a bit of an old fish, maybe. Don't know. And it was a little bit slow to cruise off, but I didn't quite get that poke on the tail that they tell me that they like. But um, anyway, it was in the live well while I was getting stuff mucking around and, and in the net. So it'll be all good. Be there for someone else to catch another day. So anyway, <laughs> prosy metery. Oh, how good. And putting up with the absolute rubbish weather. There is blue sky and oh, oh, skidding everywhere. Almost sunshine here. Hang about. Hang about, we'll wait. Dead set, that'll be a moment. Been up here for five days and it's been peeing down the whole time, so. And the wind's actually backing off. We're gonna get into some more fish here. Feels good. Let's go. Just while we do have a bit of a break, I'll just show you what I'm using. I've got a uh, Samaki Skitch SKX661. Um, it is a 10 to 20 pound rod. Um, I'm running dog tooth uh, braid in a 50 pound, and today I'm running a 40 pound leader, um, which is a bit chafed up, so I'm going to have to retie that lure. And that's just a jackal squirrel, which I've actually uh, pimped up the hooks on, and I can see there I've actually lost one of those. Uh, fangs on the front there, probably on the pliers I'd say when I was um, getting that hook out of the fish's mouth more than anything, but anyway they're going pretty well, the other one I caught on was a um, was the chase baits I think they are yeah chase baits gutsy minnow they're a cool one too. I might, I might run him for a bit actually. I might give the squirrel a rest and give that one a bit of a run for a bit. Because, um, yeah, they, they look really good in the water. They suspend well, especially good because um, that's a slow, slow floater. It comes with a lead so you can suspend it, but um, it um, allows you to put those bigger splits and, and hooks on and the action's not, you know, the action's still good with those hooks as well. So I've got the big splits and rings. I've just got one of those mid-sized leads underneath and it's suspended spot on. Um, I know because I tried it in the pool at the place where we're staying. So anyway, that's the gear I'm running. Um, the spin-out fits means I can sort of punch those casts a bit further um, with these lighter sort of lures. So um, you can do it on a bait caster as well, but um, yeah, I'm running spin today. So it's, uh, it's working for me. Pissing down rain, so we're probably due for a bite. Tree. Get here, I'm in trouble. That's okay, we'll deal with that in a minute. He was on it, he bloody had it. Yeah, this is well up. Just dropped a nice fish. He hit it and just come screaming straight at me. I didn't even realise he was on there. And then I just seen the line take off the other side of this big tree. And uh, anyway, pulled the hooks because I just couldn't quite get enough um, slack line on him quick enough to be able to manoeuvre around the tree. Anyway, you win some, you lose some, eh? Feels like he had that in pretty deep too, so time for a leader change while peeing down.
gonna, oh, this is gonna be nasty. Uh oh. Take that off. I'm gonna go in there and get him. We're on, we're on, we're on, we're on, he's still on. Just sort of back the drag right off. What side of the tree is on? Oh, he's out this side now. Oh, 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 he's good fish, he's good fish. Can't really muscle these guys too much. Oh, that's nasty. Get out of there. Come on, round that tree, round that tree. No, he's going round the hole. Oh, this is wild. All right, just sit there a second, buddy. He'll come and get you. He's still on there. We're just about going to have him in open water here in a sec. I can still feel him. All right, we're going to do the drag up on him here in a second. Out of the way. Where are we? Here he is. Yep, we're still here. We're still on. Still on, I'm not sure for no how, but we are. Oh, oh we've got a hook in the body net. Just hang about there for a second, mate, will you? Shit everywhere here. The boys' rods here. I should have taken them buggers out, but anyway. Oh. What a good fish just hanging there like that. Into the net, into the net. <laughs> yes. Oh, how good is that? Jerk, jerk, pause, crunch. <laughs> oh, that was wild. You know those casts you do, and you go, mm, could be in trouble if I hook up here. I was in trouble all right, but anyway, we got him, we got him, we got him, yeah. there he is, he's going to go close to another meter, he... oh this place is unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. I missed one right on the boat on that Zerich mullet thing about, I don't know, probably about 20 minutes ago and then this one, crutch and he stayed on like I just backed my drag right off because he was in that timber the 
Buddy, we got him. We got him. We got him. What a day we're having out here. Oh, again, we get a little ray of sunshine. <sighs> Hasn't been much of it today. I'm dead set. Ringing wet, even though I've got my good jacket on, but I've had arms in the water with fish and I don't know, when it's just pounding you from wind driven rain all day, you tend to get wet anyway. So anyway, there we go. Another one. In Oh, that one's in the high 90s, 97 that one, so a lot of fun. You see there, I had to back me drag right off to lead him just to sort of swim around that timber. If I had to try to stick him, I would have pulled hooks or something, so it just sat there actually. Um, it just sat there um, while I manoeuvred, I was jammed in between trees and rods and stuff everywhere. I didn't, I managed to not break anything that I can see, so that's pretty good too. Um, but yeah, managed to get around the tree, tighten the drag back up and, and get him to the top, so. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, I'm sorry about the foggy lens. There is water in the GoPro. Hopefully it doesn't stuff it, because I've got a fair bit more to do up here yet, but um, yeah, really cracking day today, despite the weather that pass across that main basin in that big rain squall that comes through was absolutely horrible uh, but anyway we've uh, we've had a cracking day anyway fishing was pretty good I reckon so um, I'm just got the boat back on the trailer just tightening a few things up um, yeah she was a wet and wild sort of a morning out there this morning. I think it's just coming on two o'clock. I'm on at, um, yeah, I think it's coming on about three o'clock, something like that, but I am soaked to the bone. Um, yeah, she was wild out there, but anyway, cracking day still, um, despite the weather, the fishing was unreal. Um, got some really quality fish. Um, everything in the 90 pluses um yeah a couple of low 90s some high 90s and a meter five so uh thanks again for watching guys really appreciate it chuck a thumbs up in there subscribe and uh yeah that way we'll uh we'll see you the next time out here we've got a few more we're gonna do out here um but that's basically just my initial start up looking for Freshwater Barra, Peter Faust Dam in absolute rubbish weather. It is dead set being foul out there. It probably doesn't look too bad here, but I suppose if you look across at the hills there, and also at the amount of um, trailers at the ramp, one other bloke out here. But anyway, yeah, that's it guys. Thanks again, catch up.